baby Emmanuel. You are named baby Christiana, but you don't trust Christ. Why? Because you don't know him. Yeah, you've been in church all your life and all you have gathered in church is religion. You've been in church all your life. All you've gathered in church are cliches that cannot be substantiated with scripture. And if you don't know the scripture, you don't know God. Jesus said to the Jews, you do err because you know not the scriptures, not the power of God. You search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life but the scriptures don't give eternal life they are the revelation of god when you meet him you meet life he that has the son has life i'm teaching good tonight and now they come up with what god does not do does not exist which now establishes that god is responsible for everything he kills, he makes a life, he destroys, he does everything. What God, some of you have it, what God does not, some of you have it inside your phones. Some of you, that's your screensaver. Something is wrong with your mandula oblongata. You need to be cross-examined. You are behaving like somebody that did not attend a world church. Because when you attend a world church and you have a good pastor, it will be an insult for you to join those who don't even have a good pastor to be shouting what God does not do does not exist. That means God is responsible for killing the unborn babies. God is responsible for the destruction of men's lives. God is responsible for everything because what God does not do does not exist. Death exists. God is responsible. Sickness exists. God is responsible. Poverty exists. God is responsible. Disaster exists. What God does not do does not exist. God is a liar. Lie exists. God is a thief. Stealing exists. You follow unschooled people to be quoting their cliche because you yourself, you don't know God. It is when you don't know your father that everything you hear outside about your father is true. When you know your father, you fight outside because you know that that cannot be my father. Talk about somebody else, but don't talk about my father like that. I'm teaching good here. They say I am too loud. Why won't I be loud? Am I a small boy? I've been around, man. I know the truth. And I will not stand in the face of any unschooled Bible carrier to mangle and blackmail and assassinate the character of my father. I spoke to him this morning. I spoke to him this afternoon. Just before I came up to speak to you, I spoke with him. I know him well enough. I know what he can do. I know what he cannot do. I know what he does. I know what he doesn't do. And it is my, in my place as a responsible son to defend my father's character wherever it is found. And if you don't know your father, then shut up and leave us who know our father. Defend our father. If I'm teaching good, shout, I hear you. Yeah, Nagua, are you sure you're ready for me? James chapter 1 verse 13. James chapter 1 verse. Can we all read together everybody like a mass choir? One to go. Let no man say. I am tempted of God. For. Stop. For. Stop. For. Stop. For. Stop. For. What, can God, what God cannot do does not exist. God cannot. God cannot. There are things God cannot do. And they exist. For God cannot. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he unbeliever, believer, Muslim, they are all men. God cannot tempt anybody. For God cannot. God cannot be tempted with evil. Don't let miracle seekers slogans Sweep your, your rug off your feet of sound Bible study. 
those slogans are for miracle seekers. What God cannot do does not exist. What God is for miracle seekers. It's for unbelievers. The popularity of a thing doesn't make it the truth. God cannot be tempted and temptation exists. Neither tempted he any man and men are tempted. Let no man say when I'm tempted 